Now from here, once I'm in this position with my fourth finger, second string, fifth fret, third finger there, that's really a little A minor chord. So I play five and two, and then third string, second string. Now I'm going to hold a three and four as I reach out with one. Again, a pull off to an open. And then play the second and then the third. So, that whole bit again. Now, those notes again from the A minor chord. Now you will hold the three and four, and that'll work like that. You hold this, you kind of pull against those fingers. Play the open, and you bring it up like that. Now the right hand, what it's doing is using thumb and the three fingers together like this. Okay, so not like this, bending at these knuckles here, but from here, going like this, and it's played staccato. So what that means is you're just placing the fingers back on like that after you play it. And here comes the trickiest part in the uh, intro. You have some fast arpeggiated notes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, you have this chord, which is a C chord, form of C chord, with one here, three and four. And you want that three and four tucked in together like that. And you want your one and two to have a kind of a space between them. Play the chord, then thumb, index, middle, index. Now, for this, what you do is you hold your one down, you swing around, and do again the pull to the open. That's it, fast, slow. Now, oh, that two that I'm gonna swing around with, I keep it nice and low. And in fact, I kinda of touch it to the string as I turn my hand. Now I'm gonna play this note with my ring. And then I'm going to, still holding one, I'm coming back with three, and then playing that again. Then, I'm moving up to the uh, fifth fret to play this D at two, and again, one, and then two, and three, and... Now, this little hammer pull figure, I'm going to hold the one, and I hit the open, hammer, pull. So, and that's done with two, and then you're gonna use four to go to seven. Hit the seven, and pull. So, that is a very tricky thing if your hand's not developed as it should be for a guitar. Um, so, everybody's gonna get different results on that depending on how well their fingers are trained. Because what might happen is you might find yourself having trouble getting that four there because maybe when you do the pull, your fingers fly all over. So you need to keep them close. And then I play this with four. I pull. And now from the open, I'm going to hammer back on. So here's the parts to that. The chord, single notes, now the hammer pull with two, pull with four, hammer with one, or, or with two, while one holds down. All together. Followed by six string open. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more one-of-a-kind guitar instruction and click the link to get a special report on the 10 best things you can do right now to get better on guitar.